Hello, Penny, and welcome back to Marvel Snap. As you can see, uh, because of the Deadpool movie coming out starring the miraculous duo of uh, Ryan Reynolds and uh, that other guy, uh, Deadpool has officially taken over Marvel Snap for the rest of the month. And uh, there's lots of Deadpool related things and cards and all this cool stuff, and uh, I really got into it. So I apologize for going back to back to back to back card games lately, but this is just a lot of fun. I'm really happy to see all these characters, and uh, yeah, they've got a whole bunch of stuff. So we're going to start with the new and improved I Heart Deadpool uh, cards. I'm currently trying to win locations with 20 or more power, so hopefully we can do some of that. I only need a couple more, so here we go. Let's see what we can do. Okay, didn't start off strongly, but could be a lot worse. I hate all these squirrels, but thankfully I got something to get rid of them all. Unfortunately, we have to end our turn. <sighs> okay. Come on, come on. There you go. Okay, America Chavez. That seems to be an opening move for a lot of people lately. <sighs> Player winning here gets plus one energy each turn. Alright, perfect. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put Wolverine. Notice I have a brand new Wolverine image. This one was amazing, and as soon as it came up, I was like, I have to have it. So I grabbed it immediately. It's the meme of him laying in bed looking at a photograph, so. It is fantastic. So put that down there. And now we're getting extra energy each turn. Okay, so we're definitely gonna put down Bucky, and then we're gonna put down Carnage. And that will help us clear this place out. And also give us a pretty strong lead on this area. Okay, there we go. With the soldier, Wolverine moved right back in, so we'll keep him there. Okay, so now we want to put down... Uh, let's see, yeah, we'll put... Sabretooth and X-23 here, and then we'll uh, get rid of them next turn. Everything's about to move one, one move to the right, so things are about to change drastically. Oh, wow, I put down Odin. Okay. Okay, so they're still winning because of Odin, but we're about to change the game. Alright, so I'm going to put you down here, then I'm going to put you down. That's going to drastically change everything because all of the one stars are about to die. We're about to boost all of my other cards that are still around. Oh, uh, you moved to the worst place! Alright. Okay, they, they are cleaning this spot. There's nothing I can do about that. Oh good, I got Lady Death. That's what I was hoping for. Alright, so I could put it here, but that runs the risk of me losing, so I'll put it here. Which should help me win. And because of that, I will snap, and I will end the turn. If Wolverine and X-23 hadn't chosen to move, to there? Yep, yeah, I'm not surprised they retreated, so... If they hadn't chosen to move there, this might have been a little more doable, but for the most part, it worked out very nicely, so we're gonna call that good. Didn't see Deadpool at all, which is unfortunate. Alright, let's move on. We're gonna use the other I Love Deadpool deck, I Love Deadpool 2. Now, one of the featured cards of, uh... <laughs> of uh, the current premium stuff is Gwenpool. Uh, Deadpool is actually not even in this deck right here. If you play a card here, destroy it to get plus two energy next turn. Okay, well, I can't play anything right now. Alright, so this deck is all about movement, and apparently so is their deck. They wanted plus two energy, so that's what they did. Okay. I'll put you down. Yeah, we'll put you down here. <sighs> okay. 
Okay, Devil Dinosaur, it gets power based on how many cards are in my opponent's hand. Plus five energy this turn. Great! Okay. Uh, this is not exactly the greatest thing. Because I don't have any of the things that get an advantage from being moved, which means I have this movement thing is going to be absolutely useless. Um, I can't play anything here because it'll be destroyed. So I'm going to put Hendo here. No, wait, 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 wait. Let's put down Cloak. Then we'll put down Hendo. And everything will move. Cloak will be moved here, but it won't be destroyed because it's not being played there. Okay, they copy Devil Dinosaur apparently. Uh, this is my friend's card in the hand. So the stick is gaining power like Devil Dinosaur, but because it has a much lower uh, rate of stuff, it's not going to do much. Okay. Got two Sentinels now. Now we get something that would have been useful. You were not useful. Human Torch. So, I would only be moving Hendel around at this point, so you're pretty useless. Let's put the Hulkbuster on you. Uh, actually, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, I put Human Torch here, and Hulkbuster here. That'll be very, very helpful. I can also put down Vision and then move him to the Altar of Death. Because at least one of these cards is going to be destroyed. <laughs> at least it should be. Possibly both of them should be destroyed. Yep, okay, both of them are destroyed. So, you have to move cards over here in order to use them. So if I put Vision down now, I can move... Vision to the altar of death. Okay. He's got the same idea though, with Nightcrawler. He's gonna move him over here. I shouldn't say he's. They've got the same decision. Yep, I knew that was coming. But you're also playing a card here. Give plus 5 power to each of your cards alone at other locations. So, plus 5 power to Devil Dinosaur. Still not enough, but it's, it's kind of bad, so... Okay, they killed another Sentinel in order to get more extra power. I'm gonna move you over here. I'm gonna play you here. Actually, no. Uh, let's, let's play you... Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna put Craven here. I'm going to play Spider-Man here and move Devil Dinosaur over one. <clears throat> hopefully, or hopefully to the right spot. Because if it gets moved over to Project Pegasus, then all of their power... Oh, dang it! That's not going to be very helpful for me. Not that it really matters, but... Nimrod, this is destroyed and a copy to reach other location. Good for you. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. If they hadn't filled this up, I should have thought about that. If they hadn't filled this up, we might have been able to do something, but... Now, it's pretty much guaranteed that we're gonna lose. Alright, well... Movement decks are very hard to, to get wins with, unfortunately. I'm sure we'll level up Spider-Man. And we got some boosters for Ebony Maw, which I rarely ever use right these days. Although he is still a staple in one of my decks. And yeah, I might as well level him up. Let's see here. Upgradable. Killmonger? I don't know why Killmonger is. Oh. I wonder if that's what it is. Animated. Oh, that was that Killmonger I don't use. I shouldn't have leveled it up. Oh well. 
Okay, so that explains that. Doesn't explain this stuff. Okay, so never mind. I'm wrong. I, I was thinking something else. Alright, so Deadpool 2, let's go to Gwenpool. Uh, so Gwenpool is, uh... She's like the featured thing, the featured card in the current, uh, setup. Ooh, okay, we're gonna definitely fill that out as much as we can. So yeah, Gwenpool, on a veal, pick a random card in your hand three times, give plus two power to each time. <laughs> so Gwenpool is pretty kind of effective, but also kind of not. <laughs> Okay, so they've got Human Torch, which means they're probably going to... Okay, you just copied Gwenpool. It's not exactly great. It's not exactly bad, either. Okay. Well. And now we do the Spider-Man point because we copied each other. At least I will. You've got extra power again. Okay, faster. So we definitely want... Oh, I hate Pet Mansion! Hate it! Hate it so much! All I wanted to do was put Fastos here, but now I have to wait an entire turn to be able to take over this place and get extra energy. And it's all because of Pet Mansion. On the plus side, Dr. Strange just moved everybody off, which means I'm giving extra energy. But they also just powered up Human Torch. Which means Brood is... Useless. Alright, we're gonna put down Fastus because he makes everything better. Unfortunately, the cards in my hand are not gonna be very helpful, but at least I'll win this and get extra energy. Uh, let's see, Vulture. Let's see, Unveil. Unveil. I could put down Gwenpool, I could put down Sarah. Uh, this is turn five. If I put down Sarah, then everything costs less. So let's put Sarah down here. And we'll call that good. Uh, oh, end turn. There we go. Okay, hopefully they don't put anything else on Castle Blackstone, but of course they did. Well, the dagger gives them zero. Unless she moves. There's Sarah. That'll be nice. Okay. So I've got seven this turn. Ooh. What would Killmonger do? Okay, we'll take out Iron Fist and Human Torch. Which would be good. Oh yeah, I can do it all. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna play Killmonger here. We're gonna put down Gwenpool here. And here. And she's gonna boost the heck out of these two cards, but it doesn't matter. All that matters is that we get more points right now. And that we're killing two of their my opponent's creatures. Okay, so there they go. There's Gwenpool. And Gwenpool number two. Okay. Are they gonna reach 12 or not? That is a not. Okay. We officially win. And I should have snapped, but that's okay. Alright. Yeah, the Gwenpool deck's pretty good, but it is very unhelpful when you're trying to get uh, 20 plus power on a location. So, all good and all bad. So let me show you some of the cards that I got from uh, all the new Deadpool related stuff. Hydra Bob, Hydra Bob was one of the ones I introduced. Uh, I had to put him in the uh, Gwenpool deck uh, in order to get one of the daily stuff. Gwenpool is the feature of the uh, current premium package, so I'll show you that in just a second. I also got this Wolverine, which is amazing. It makes me laugh every time I look at it. And then, here's the new Deadpool. 
this is the, the one specifically released for this stuff. So, looks amazing. Really glad to have it. Been trying to level it up lately. Uh, eventually I'll have to get back to leveling up the custom card, but if I can get this to max first, then I'm gonna aim for that, because that'll get me extra bonus stuff. So, always good to have. Let me show you the current, uh, maximum effort, uh, run. So as you can see, Gwenpool is the featured, uh, thing for, for this. Uh, she was the first card that I unlocked, which is this. This is her original, and this is her variant. And as we keep going down, we'll get more. Eventually I'll unlock this Wolverine, but I probably won't use it nearly as much as the other one. If only because the other one makes me laugh. We got Colossus Emote, which is fantastic. We got Deadpool New Avatar, which I'm looking forward to getting that. Look at this, we got uh, Wolverine, Cardbox, and oh, we can, I can unlock this Deadpool, which I will be doing eventually. And then we also got I know it's down here somewhere. Uh, oh, there's the Gwenpool avatar, and then here's the Deadpool uh, card back. We're basically staring directly at his crotch, so have fun with that. And then eventually, uh, the very last one we get is the variant uh, for Gwenpool, so I'm looking forward to that. Anyway, thank you all for joining me today, and as always, please like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps the channel out when you do that. As we always like to say at the end of these videos, don't get assassinated!